Okay, so here we are after my last update. Um, in the meantime, there's been uh, <laughs> a lot of snow, as you can see. Um, a lot of ice and freezing temperatures and um, a huge amount of rain, moisture and not a lot of sun. Um, the effect on the moss seems to be, well, not too profound actually. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look like it's um, done any damage or whatever. Actually, it's been flourishing and the growth is uh, starting to come. Here we go. Um, so it looks pretty good. Um, so as you see, it's yeah, sturdy uh, stuff uh, actually, which uh, makes me happy. Going on for more than two years now, and uh, the test seems to be working out pretty good. Um, I got some interesting stuff here, which is a totally different test which I've been doing on the side, and uh, I'll be making a new video of that. Check it out. What is this? What is this? Well, I can just say that um, this is a test I've been doing um, to see what the effect of ferro and non-ferro uh, metals have uh, on bryophytes. And as you can see, well, this is the result of ferro material. Um, the test I've been doing is a combination of uh, ferro and ma ferromagnetism. And uh, I got some interesting results on that. So I'll be making a new video uh, on the uh, on the ferromagnetism, and I've been also doing some tests. Ta-da! On extracting electricity from moss, which is not something completely new. I've known, uh, I've seen other videos, and people have been doing that as well. Um, I have come up with some interesting insights, and uh, which I thought were pretty exciting, actually and which have a direct link with the ferromagnetism. So, uh, yeah, well, very soon I'll be uh, posting a video on that. And uh, everything has to do with nature and power. Yeah, pretty exciting. I like it. Okay, well, have a good one and uh, see you soon.